Hello, this is James Rogers with iPad Insight. Today we're going to take a look at new text selection features for text editing in iPad OS 13 and iOS 13. Uh, before we get started, just a brief rundown on how things have worked with, uh, in this regard in the past. Uh, so we've always been able to tap to insert our editing cursor. Uh, a little bit more problematic on the iPhone with the smaller screen. A little bit easier on the iPad, which I'm, I'm using here for this demonstration. Uh, but then we would have to double tap or hold and get our menu and then drag our secondary device here. Uh, in the past, I've typically on the iPad used a Bluetooth keyboard or smart connector keyboard and relied on keyboard shortcuts to do a lot of this. Uh, but it's definitely more difficult on, and cumbersome on the iPhone. Uh, you do have the option to move this around, and you can see here on the on-screen keyboard of the iPad below, with a two-finger tap, it grays out, and I have the ability to select text, or I can move the cursor around. And you can do the same thing on the iPhone with a 3D Touch long press. However, it, it still requires extra work. And what Apple has done is taken a lot of the complexity and additions out of this and just simplified the, the process of working with the cursor. So now I can drop the cursor in a location and I can simply tap on it and drag it anywhere I want. And so anywhere I drop it, I can pick it back up and grab it again. I don't have to, to do anything special. I don't have to go anywhere special. I don't have to use a certain kind of tap. It's just a smooth drag motion. And you can look, uh, if you look, you'll notice how it gets larger so that your finger doesn't get in the way and you can easily see where you're going with it, which is definitely a nice feature, especially for somebody like me that has large fingers and thumbs. That's especially useful, again, on the smaller screen of the iPhone. So Apple's also greatly improved how we can work with text using our uh, using touch. So now we can position our cursor and I can double tap to select a word, triple tap to select a sentence, and quadruple tap to select a paragraph. Now that does require a, a little bit of a learning on the user's part. Uh, Apple may have to introduce some educational videos or you know, something part of the setup in iOS or maybe in the notes app or pages that uh, gets users familiar with these uh, new features, but it does still work in the old way. Uh, nobody's losing anything that they're used to. Uh, these are just really nice additions, in my opinion, to, to make life a little bit easier on us. So now we can elaborate on this further for cut, copy, and paste. So we'll try copy here first. So I'm going to double tap, triple tap, I'm sorry, to select that sentence. And now I'm going to copy that. So what I can use is a three-finger gesture. And I, I prefer my index finger, middle finger, and thumb and it's a pinching in motion. And when you do that, you can see the selection menu pops up at the top to tell me I just copied that as if I was picking up that sentence. I'm gonna drop down here and I'm gonna act as if I'm letting go of it and let those three fingers out in a dropping motion and that pastes the same sentence. All right, so for cut, We simply do the same thing twice. Pinch in once to copy, second time to cut. And to paste, again, just let those three fingers out and it pastes it right back where it was because that's where the cursor remained. Pretty simple in my opinion. Uh, if you don't prefer the cut, copy, and paste gestures, you can still select text the same way and if you just tap with three fingers, you'll get your selection menu and you can still use that. And if you need to undo and redo, those also come with gestures now. So that's a three fingers drug to the left for undo. You can see my paste was undone. Three fingers to the right to redo and my paste returns. Uh, these are definitely um, Definitely useful additions from Apple. Uh, definitely speed up the workflow for text editing, in my opinion. Uh, this is especially going to be helpful on the iPhone. 